kicks off before Game 3 comes up on Saturday night in Washington, D.C. Let's head out to T-Mobile Arena. That's where the fans kind of left disappointed. Kevin Martin is standing by live. And Kevin, though, I believe the fans were disappointed, but they're probably pretty realistic, aren't they? Exactly, Chris. Whether in victory or defeat, one thing has remained the same about this Golden Knights team. It has undoubtedly united this city, and fans recognize this and remain optimistic as they head to Washington to try to win games three and four. And still remember, the Golden Knights are still just three wins away from bringing in a title here to Las Vegas. Now, speaking of titles, we caught up with a guy who knows a thing or two about winning those two time World Series champ and Las Vegas, Shane Victorino, who was at game two and a Seen this city transform into a sports town right before his very own eyes. You know, a lot of people question the city of Vegas, and I've been here since 2004 when I moved here. Uh, you know, so I saw a lot of the good, I saw a lot of the growth, I saw a lot of bad times. And you know, the biggest question as an athlete, and everybody always said in the business world, was can Vegas have uh, you know professional sports team? And you know, the Golden Knights have persevered, and not just in the game of hockey. I think in the game of of of, of, of sports and at the major level, uh, in all sports, uh, all four major sports, and and whatever it is, these guys have done an amazing job and road history. So the only thing it would be if they win it all, that reads the you know that story that much greater. Now, remember, remember, Shane was in the majors for 12 seasons, and even he has said he's never seen a city quite like Las Vegas rally around a team like they've rallied around the Golden Knights. Now, let's send it up to John Treach. John, more with the Golden Knights. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, the fans were clinging to the rally towels. The Golden Knights were clinging to hope. All season long, this team has seized the moment when it matters. But not tonight. Game two was about shots and opportunities missed. You got to take advantage of your chances in the playoffs. You get a five on three, that's very rare. I think you got to generate uh, an opportunity to score. But hey, you know what? Sometimes it's not going to go their way, and you just got to generate as much momentum to hopefully get your guys going. Couldn't score, and uh, you know, that's what you hope for, right? You're down one, and you get a five on three, and, and um, you know, we. That's just how I went today. We had an extra gear, which uh, we didn't find. And then in the last, we tried everything. Um, you know, we had some chances on the on the five and three. I think that's big. You gotta, you know, take advantage of that. But it is what it is. Um, you know, forget about it. Move on. And coming up in sports, we'll hear why the sky isn't falling for Knights Nation, and one one is right where they want to be. Reporting live, John Treach, Eight Sports Now. Back to you. All right, John, thank you. Fans that could not make it to T-Mobile tonight packed into City National Arena in hopes of seeing our Knights take one step closer to the Cup. Brittany Edney caught some of the excitement and, unfortunately, some of the disappointment from Summerlin. Quiet here at City National Arena, and that's mainly because all the fans have gone home, many of them with their tails in between their legs after losing this game two to the Caps. But I have to tell you, a lot of them are looking at this as the glass half full and they're hoping that they're going to be a comeback on Saturday. It's a seven game series, but we got to give them one game. It's all right. It's okay to lose one. There's no Stanley Cup one in a, in a sweep. So that's all right. They can have this one. Our guys are, they were playing hard, but you know, they kind of off their game today, but it's okay. Three to two is not, it's, it wasn't like a blowout. Three to two, it's okay. We'll get them on Saturday. And we're going to be live once again at some of the watch parties happening across Vegas on Saturday, so make sure to tune in. Brittany Edney, 8 News Now.